What does 200 years of history look like? Very wrinkled, I suppose, cracked in some parts, heaving against the wind that constantly beats against its walls. It howls in the dark passages, echoing the spirit of the millions of stories held within. I look up when, as if by magic, a piece of paper lands perfectly at my desk. Old, yellowed and fraying edges looking so delicate as if to crumble by a mere touch. But as I look closer, the words contained in, it pulled me in, back in time. Back to the day when the great adventure began. This is the story of the National Library of South Africa. A haven of knowledge, history and heritage. The year is 1818 and the South African Public Library opens its doors in the city of Cape Town. Lord Charles Somerset, Governor of the Cape Colony, issued a proclamation launching the South African Public Library. From those humble beginnings, the library's first significant acquisition was the collection of Joachim Nicolas von Dessin, which were donated by the Dutch Reformed Church Board of Trustees in 1820. Other notable donations followed over the years, including Sir George Gray's personal collection of medieval and Renaissance manuscripts and rare books. In 1873, the South African Library became a legal deposit library for the Cape Colony and from 1916 it received all printed items published throughout the country. The library continued as a lending library until 1954 when this function was taken over by the city of Cape Town. The State Library of the South African Republic came into being thanks to a donation of books from the Matskape de Redelange Letterkidner. The first consignment of eight chests of books arrived in 1883 and on the 21st of September 1887, the Transvaal government approved the constitution of the Staatsbibliothek. From then until 1964, the State Library performed a dual role as public library and national library, taking on functions such as striving for a national library lending system and a center for bibliographical information. Officially launched on the 1st of November 1991 through the amalgamation of the State Library in Pretoria and the South African Library in Cape Town, the National Library of South Africa opened its doors. Fast forward to 2018, the National Library of South Africa prides itself on a more progressive approach accommodating library users across multiple platforms. The NLSA's Center for the Book in Cape Town promotes reading, writing and publishing in South Africa by establishing book clubs, hosting reading programs and awarding community publishing grants to upcoming authors to self-publish their manuscripts. The NLSA's Mzansi Library's online project bridges the digital divide by providing ICT equipment and internet connectivity to identified community libraries across South Africa. The Conditional Grant Project promotes the development of public and community libraries in South Africa in support of the National Development Plan, the NDP. Provinces use the funding to build and upgrade libraries, establish ICT connectivity, increase library collections, support professional library and information services, and serve the information needs of the South African people. Today, as we celebrate 200 years of existence, we look forward to preserving South Africa's documentary heritage in order to create an even stronger nation, one that is made up of people who know who they are, where they come from and where they're going. Celebrate with us. Salute the legacy, redefining the future. The National Library of South Africa as we celebrate 200 years of the existence of libraries in this country, I want to say to South Africa, please join us and congratulate those great thinking minds who gave us the library so that we can provide access to information and knowledge for our children, for our students, for lifelong learners, for the communities. 
and we have done that since the 20th of March, 1818. We are here to assist South Africa to develop, to get to the next level.